Good afternoon, Kentucky Royal Ambassadors. It's time for our weekly Royal Ambassador Campcraft lesson. And I'm so glad that you're here to join me. I'm John Auten, the RA consultant for Kentucky. And we're going to continue this month uh, learning about uh, how God works through missionaries. So last week we started out with our biblical lesson. It was the story of Zacchaeus. And we saw how Zacchaeus uh, ran ahead on the path and climbed up in a tree so that he could see over the crowd and see Jesus. And um, I want you to think about that for a second. And I want you to note, like I noted, that when Jesus got to the tree where Zacchaeus was up in that tree, uh, Jesus didn't walk right on by him. Jesus didn't turn his back on him and ignore him or reject him. In fact, he turned toward Zacchaeus and he said, Zacchaeus, come down from that tree. I'm going to your house uh, today. And um, not only did Jesus go to Zacchaeus' house, but there at his house, uh, through the gracious acts of Jesus, and especially through uh, the speaking of the truth um, that Jesus spoke to him, uh, we see that Zacchaeus repented and his action, actions demonstrated that he had uh, put his trust in Jesus. And so salvation came to Zacchaeus and to his household. Uh, now, I mentioned that Jesus didn't ignore or reject Zacchaeus. In our society today, um, there are groups of people who are ignored, who are rejected, um, who are um, just walked away from. Um, they're forgotten. And um, one of those groups that that happens to is uh, senior citizens who live in nursing, nursing homes. They are often forgotten uh, and ignored, but not to Kathy Tisher. Uh, Kathy Tisher is our missionary this month. She serves as a chaplain uh, for six, 600 residents who live in three different uh, care centers in Oklahoma. And there at those care centers, Kathy uh, leads Bible study groups, prayer groups, uh, groups that come together to sing. Um, and she also goes door to door um, visiting uh, with those residents. Now, Kathy says about many of the residents that they never have any other visitors. Um, they definitely are forgotten and ignored. Um, maybe their family is gone. Maybe their family lives far away. Maybe, maybe their family doesn't care. But those, those people are forgotten uh, in a very real kind of way. And so Kathy goes and visits with them. Um, Kathy talks with them. She plays games with them like dominoes. Um, she prays with them and she shares Jesus with them. Uh, in fact, Kathy says this, uh, quote, my greatest joy is when I get to lead a resident to Jesus. It is a blessing to see someone in their 70s, 80s, or 90s finally come to know Jesus as their Savior and Lord. You see, Kathy's work as a chaplain and her desire is to point people to Jesus. And, and that work reminds me of a compass. You know, there's different kinds of compasses. I have here a, an RA pocket knife, kind of a utility knife, and on it, it has a very simple compass, swings out on uh, that pivot right there. I also have my base plate compass, and if you remember back to one of my early campcraft lessons that I did, we talked about the base plate compass and the different parts of it and how to use it. And so I have one of those. Uh, there's also a compass called a lensatic compass and it's a little more advanced than the base plate compass and has some extra parts on it. It makes it very useful to, for doing things like orienteering. Um, I don't have one of those, but uh, they are very nice and, and very useful. Um, but there's one thing about these compasses, whether it be the, the one on the handle of this pocket knife or the lensatic compass or the base plate compass, there's one thing they all have in common and that's the magnetic needle. Uh, and that's a thing that's essential uh, to all of them. The magnetized needle always points north and it lets you orient that compass uh, correctly and also to use the other uh, features properly. So what we're gonna do today for our campcraft lesson 
is I want to show you how to make a very simple, uh, very primitive uh, type of compass that basically is just a magnetic needle that points north. And so uh, information about this project can be found on page 149 in our campcraft manual. Got a little bit of shade crossing across here right now. Um, that uh, campcraft manual can be found here, kywmu.org slash campcraft. Uh, doing this simple project will meet one of the map and compass requirements for the Discover 3 patch. Okay, so what do you need to make this very simple compass? Well, first of all, uh, you need just a plastic cap off of a water bottle or a soda bottle. In the book, it talks about using a thin, uh, flat piece of cork, uh, but I found that today you can find water bottles and soda bottles everywhere. So why not use cap off of one of those to do this? So I have here, uh, this is off of a Dasani water bottle and, and this is off of a, a Dr. Pepper bottle. Uh, either one of these will work uh, just fine. So you need a, a plastic cap, you need a pocket knife or a utility knife. You need a sewing needle. So I have here a sewing needle you need a magnet and I have here just a real simple refrigerator magnet and then you need a shallow dish of water and I have a dish of water it's over on the other side of my computer and so to show you how to make this simple uh, compass I'm going to switch my camera on my computer over to the other side There we go. So you can see my dish of water there. And we're going to use the um, that green bottle cap there from the Dasani water bottle. And uh, you take and there's the top side of it and you want to flip that over. So you have the bottom side of it. And what you do is you take your pocket knife and you want to make sure you use all your, your safety guidelines for using a pocket knife. And you're going to cut a notch in one edge, and then you're going to turn it around and cut a notch opposite that on the other edge. So I'm going to do that right now. There, I've got one notch cut right there. I turn it around and I'm going to cut a notch on the other side. So there's my notch on the other side. I got one there and I've got one, one there. All right, so I've got the notches cut in my bottle cap lid. Next thing you do is you take your magnet and your needle and you want to take that magnet and the needle and you want to lay the needle on the magnet and then just slide it across there or rub it across there. You want to do it in the same direction every time. Lay it on there, pull it across, lay it on there, pull it across. And you want to do that 30 times, 40 times, just want to do that a bunch of times. And what happens is while you do that, this magnet is a permanent magnet. And as you slide this iron needle across this magnet, or it's a steel needle, it has iron in it. Um, it takes the iron elements in it and it lines them all up. So the positive end is pointing one way and the negative end is pointing the other way, and that magnetizes that needle.
So that's probably about 30 or maybe 40 times. So once you do that, I'm going to move this magnet away because I found when I leave it close to my water dish, it affects the direction that my needle points. So I'm going to move it over here out of the way. And then you just take and you lay your needle right in your notches there. And then you float it in the water. You see how it swings around like that? And gradually it'll come to rest. And if I take my base plate compass and lay it out here beside it, you'll see that they're pointing the same direction. And so we know that north is that way over there. And, and that's all there is to it. That's how you make a very simple, uh, very primitive kind of compass. Now, you can't put that in your backpack or carry that with you anywhere, but it helps you to begin to understand the principles of magnetism and how a compass works and the how the needle always points north. And you'll find that that feature is the same no matter what kind of compass you use. The, the north end of the needle always points to the magnetic north pole uh, for our planet. Uh, so that's how you do that. And um, this is a neat project. Not only helps RAs learn about uh, magnetism and the magnetic needle in a compass, uh, it will also help them to remember that the most important thing that royal ambassadors are supposed to do is point people to Jesus, just like Kathy Tisher at the nursing facilities where she works. She loves pointing people to Jesus Christ, and uh, we can all do that no matter where we work, no matter where we go to school, no matter where we find ourselves in life. Uh, we can serve as a spiritual compass uh, through our actions and through our words, pointing people to Jesus Christ. So thank you for joining me for this Camp Craft lesson. I hope you have a great afternoon, and we'll see you next week.